Hi guys, I'm Colin, and today we are going to be talking about the largest naval battle in the Pacific feeder, like Pacific Ocean. Uh, this happened in World War II, and it talks about what what ships were used and all this cool stuff, and I'll be uh, the one sharing that to you guys. So, yeah, let's let's get to it. Alright, so I'm going to be talking about the first segment, like what aircraft were used. Um, so let's go with this one first. This is called the SBD, Scout Bomber Diver, that's what SBD means. Uh, Douglas, this was used a lot in the Pacific War. Um, it was also used a lot in Midway to kind of take out the carriers um, in Midway. So this is the SBD right here. Uh, and if you look right here, this is the Zero. Uh, this was used by the uh, Japanese Empire. Um, it was used in the attacks on Pearl Harbor, which you guys probably remember. Um, but this was also used a lot in Pacific too, so yeah. Um, we'll move on to the next segment. So if you look at this book, uh, this book talks about 100 battles, like battles from the past to the present. Has a lot of stuff in it, but um, let's go to the Battle of Midway. So, uh, I got to try to figure out where it is. Okay. There we go. Okay, so this is the Battle of Midway. This happened in 1942, one year after um, the attack on Pearl Harbor. Um, what happened was, during this battle, the Japanese, if you look on this map right here, I'm sorry, if you look on this map, you see this uh, island called Midway. This is an island that's kind of in the middle of the Pacific, and Japan wanted to take Midway over, because if they would, if they would have took, took over Midway, then they would have took over the whole Pacific and they would have um, uh, invaded like kind of these other countries but also these um, like west coast states in the United States kind of far right here. Um, here's what happened was they wanted, their plan was to kind of distract us up to these islands as we need to, but they kind of like islands up here. Um, so that way they could like sneak right through into Midway and take over Midway. But of course, um, we had code breakers. And if, the, and if you don't know what code breakers are, um, what they did was they they're kind of make they're kind of like encrypted or uh, figured out what, or translated a Japanese language, and they realized that they were gonna attack Midway. Um, so then after that, they set their carriers kind of northeast, right here. Um, of course, Japan thought they were clear to take over Midway, but they realized there were carriers over here when a scout plane found them out. And um, after that, that's how, the, that's how Midway started. Um, so what we were trying to do is we were trying to figure out where their carriers were, which we figured it out. They were kind of right here. Um, so what we did was we sent this guy right here, this aircraft to take out their carriers so they couldn't take over Midway. Um, so usually we took out three carriers and then we had to go back, uh, refuel, and then we took out the last carrier, um, which turned the tide of war in the Pacific. That's when we started to invade their islands and take back um, islands from Japan. Also, I wanted to show you guys this. Um, this is the carriers they used in the Battle of Midway. It looked like this. It was a large flat platform. Um, they used it to um, invade Midway, of course, to send like amphibious troops and to take over the island. So, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed me and my vlog talking about the Battle of Midway. And I'll see you guys in class, and I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. Bye, guys.